I am delighted to have Susan Crawford, founder of One Web Day, who is probably going to be the heroine of <laughs> the internet in the coming years. We're all the heroines of the internet. That's <laughs> the point of One Web Day. It's always September 22nd, and it's happening all over the world in online forums and offline. So it's a day to help us understand how important the web is to our lives, think about how we'd like the web to change the world in the future, and do some good works to help people get online and be more effective online while they're there. Now this came about because um, there are ways that the web is trying to be transformed into something that it's not right now. So give me a little bit of background. Well, I was inspired by Earth Day. Earth Day first took off when we saw a picture of the Earth from space. And it's this fragile marble floating in a blue void. And we suddenly realized that there was something we had to protect as people. We haven't seen an image of the web. It isn't visual to us. But actually, it's under threat as well, all around the world in lots of different ways. Censorship, uh, inadequate access, um, not enough personal input into the web. And so I thought that we really needed an Earth Day for the web. And that's what One Web Day is. Tell me, give me the biggest example of how One Web Day made an impact last year. Well, I think people realized that uh, we had a lot of teaching sessions, particularly in Eastern Europe. And I think the, the notion of editing a blog is a big deal. To say, I leave part of myself online is something you and I might take for granted, but it's not so all over the world. And that has a major impact. So what happens on September 22nd, and what's the build-up from now to then? How can people get involved? Well, our big goal online this year is urging people to upload video and tag it One Web Day 2007. So Blip is helping us with this, and YouTube will be helping us, and also a wonderful uh, thing called SchoolTube, which is for kids to post video. And those videos should be about the following. How has the web changed your life? Tell us, tell the world the story about what's happened to you because of the web. How would you like the web to change the world in the future? What are some great things you've done with people in other countries online that the web makes possible? We'd like those videos also to be made available through .sub.com, which allows anybody all over the world to subtitle a video in another language. Which we're familiar with on Rocket Boom. Oh, you know about that? OK, great. We are subtitled, yes. Oh, I've .sub. seen that. Yes, yeah, wonderful. So .sub plus uh, user-generated video plus this message about your personal involvement with the web. That's our focus for September 22nd. So I want to urge as many people as possible to get this stuff online so that other people can do mashups, we can hold contests, we can do all kinds of things, but we need it to be up as soon as possible so we can start looking at it. I want people to remember that this is only 10 years old. And it's changed the world. And we're right at the very beginning of the web's history. There's no telling what's going to happen in the future, particularly if people see it as their own medium and not something that's distant from them.